So over the weekend, Saber Spark did another tremendous video where he talked about the rise and fall of 4Kids and what led to its demise, you know, in the long run. And I highly recommend watching the video. But there is another thing that, you know, led to its demise, in my opinion, that he didn't touch upon. And it's something that's historically significant to not only me, but to him as well. And that significant historical moment that helped, you know, to contribute to the demise of four kids as a whole was the demise of Saturday morning cartoons itself. For 60 plus years, up until a certain point in the early to mid 2010s, for 60 plus years, Saturday morning cartoons was a tradition for a tradition, I should say, for everybody growing up, including myself, my sisters, my mom, my dad, everybody. It was a tradition for us to watch Saturday morning cartoons, you know, every Saturday on NBC, on the likes of NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, WB, syndication, you name it. It was a tradition. A tradition we could not get enough of on a weekly basis. And over the past 20 to 30 years, you know, you know, prior to this demise, we started to slowly see the decline. We saw NBC shutter its doors in favor of TNBC. We saw eventually CBS shutter its doors after trying to get one last attempt going with the Action Zone and Garfield and Friends. We saw ABC eventually fold its Saturday morning cartoon doors after one di last ditch attempt with one Saturday morning. And then inevitably we saw Kids WB do the same thing and any programming that was under the four kids license with them migrated over to Fox Kids and altogether they became the Fox Box along with some new content like the 2003 Ninja Turtles, the revamped version of the uh, Bike of Mice from Mars which was basically like a soft rebooted continuation of the original series, you know, uh, the own answer to Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, the card series called Chaotic, you know, and stuff like that. You know, over the 20 years before the official last day, we sl slowly, slowly, I should say, saw the demise of, for, of Saturday morning cartoons, you know, as a tradition. We did. Now, I do apologize if I slur my words a little bit. I just got off work. I'm a little tired, but I wanted to do this before I catch my bus. Anyway, like I said, over time, we saw a slow demise up until that fateful day when Saturday mornings officially came to an end. And even though they did everything they could, four kids and those associated with them did everything they could to keep, you know, Saturday morning cartoons alive as we knew it, it wasn't enough. And their last ditch effort, which was the Vortex block, you know, give them credit, they added in a mixture of content from anime to DC properties and all that, but it wasn't enough. And in the end, you know, on that faithful day in the early to mid 2010s, you know, Saturday mornings came to an end. They came to an end as we knew it in 60 plus years, six decades worth of tradition was gone. And that to me, that to me helped to basically shutter the doors, helped four kids to finally come, you know, to the unfortunate decision that they had to go out of business. They had to go extinct because there was no other means, you know, to distribute content the way they used to. And along with that, there was another thing that caused them to do that. And it's something that Saber Spark did touch upon. That other thing was the fact that we were now in an age where people could watch Saturday morning cartoons in any form they wanted, thanks to the internet. You know, thanks to streaming services that had classic said content. You know, they could watch Saturday morning cartoons however they wanted. They could even, you know, they could even basically put in a DVD or even a Blu-ray if they're fortunate enough to have one, you know, of a classic animated cartoon series that they grew up with on Saturday mornings. They could do that. They could do that. You know, and because they could do that, it basically 
caused a hindrance. It caused a hindrance in the tradition of Saturday morning cartoons as we knew it. And to me, that also caused a hindrance for the likes of four kids. Because they tried their damnedest to keep, you know, Saturday mornings alive with these last ditch efforts. But it wasn't enough. And like I said, when that announcement came that on that faithful day, I think in the fall of 2013, 2012, I got to go back and look. When they said Saturday morning cartoons were coming to an end as we knew it. And that, that last block of Vortex would be it. You know, I don't think words can describe how we all felt. And I'm damn sure, I'm damn sure convinced that I don't think words could describe how those that four kids felt knowing that that last ditch effort to basically keep themselves as a business, you know, as a whole alive was down the tubes the longest Saturday mornings. But yeah, in the end, I think basically it was the demise of Saturday morning cartoons, you know, as a tradition up to that point, which really contributed along with everything Saber Spark said, you know, financially and all that, you know, it really helped contribute to the demise of four kids. And just like Saber Spark said too, you had all the other now, uh, you had all these other options coming around from streaming services to the internet with torrents and stuff like that to, you know, DVD and Blu-ray dis distributions of classic shows that we grew up on, allowing you to watch them at any time you want including the on-demand features with various cable companies. All that played a factor. All that played a factor, and there was nothing, nothing four kids could do about it. Nothing whatsoever. And they, because basically what they had to do, ladies and gentlemen, was just sit back and take it. They just had to sit, sit back, take it, and watch the, and watch everything go down the drain. Yeah, and that is just depressing just thinking about and talking about but it's a fact it is a fact so to me to me this this here along with everything Saber Spark said is one of the main reasons one of the main reasons you know four kids went down it was the demise of Saturday morning cartoons and the demise of the last ditch effort for Saturday morning cartoon blockage period in the Vortex. The Vortex basically was four kids last ditch effort to keep themselves and Saturday morning cartoons which was the main consistent home you know alive. It was the last ditch opportunity, the last ditch effort and it, and it wasn't enough. It all came crumbling down on that faithful day. But that's all I can really say on it, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section. Live chat during the premiere. Like the video. You can also get a podcast version of this eventually uh, later on. So you can w listen to it anytime you want at BW Rosa's Discussions on all your favorite audio podcast locations except for Pandora. But guys, I just had to talk about that. Give a reply to it. Because honestly, it is something that when you really think about it, when you really get down to it, it is a reality that we all have to, you know, have to, you know, kind of face and realize that along with everything Saber said, which is true, you know, which is factual tr truth, if you will, that the one thing he forgot to talk about, because again, maybe he felt it wasn't worth a mention, is it was the demise of Saturday morning cartoons as a whole, you know, traditional wise, and the last ditch you know, original Saturday morning cartoon block, The Vortex, which contributed as well to the demise of four kids. But let me know what your thoughts are. Comment down below, live chat during the premiere, and I'll talk to you later. And I do recommend, it'll be here at the end of this video, check out Sable Spark's video. I think you'll enjoy it.